There are indications that Arab leaders might ask the Syrian opposition to form a government. Since the Secretary General always prompts discussions, peaceful discussion between the two opposing parties, would he be in favor of that? Well, the Secretary General is in favor of anything that leads to a, a, a discussion, a peaceful discussion of the differences that separate the Syrians and to a peaceful resolution of the situation. If the Syrian opposition coming together enables them to engage in dialogue, enables them to have the type of uh, control structure that permits them to stop the violence. In that case, I think it would probably be, uh, probably be good. We're not going to call it a government. It's not something that we would do. But for the opposition to come together and be able to exercise control over its forces and be able to put an end to the violence in the same way as the Syrian government putting an end to the violence on its part would be very helpful to the situation. And it's something the Secretary General has been calling for. How, do, how does the United Nations view that Al-Qaeda has risen their flag on the Turkish-Syrian border in Bab el Hawa, and they are in con total control of the area in that region? Well, Secretary General, as I said, he's against any militarization of the uh, of the uh, situation in uh, in Syria, and uh, and that's the, his, his position. Where there's militarization by by the Syrian government, by the opposition, by what uh, we have been called third forces, it all comes into play. Violence must end, and the killing must end. But here we are talking about Al Qaeda, which is categorized by the United Nations as a terrorist organization, and which is sought to be prevented from taking any part. How come these people are brought in through Turkey or through other countries into Syria and they are in control there? And nobody is condemning their presence at Syria. Well, the, the presence of Al-Qaeda, as far as I know, is condemned everywhere by everyone. So I don't think that the situation in Syria is unique. The presence of Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda is a terrorist organization, and its presence anywhere is to be condemned.